Saxon Course 2, Lesson 64, is on adding positive and negative numbers. So I need to find the sum of each of these numbers. On the first one, negative 54 plus a negative 78, since both numbers are negative, I can go ahead and add those numbers together, 54 plus 78. And then my answer is going to be negative because both of these numbers are negative. So 54 plus 78 is equal to 132. And then for my answer, I'm just going to put that negative sign in front of it because my answer has to be negative. For the second one, we have a positive 45 plus a negative 67. Since the neg negative 67 is bigger, I know my answer is going to be negative. So what I will do is I'll take 67 and minus 45 from it. Okay, so 67 minus 45 is equal to 22. Now remember, since the negative is the 67 and it's bigger, my answer has to be negative 22. So when the signs in an equation are different, so a negative and positive, you will subtract, and then your answer will be negative if the negative number is bigger, or positive if the positive number is bigger. Okay. On the last one, we have negative 92 plus a positive 92. Now, negative 92 and positive 92 are opposites. Exactly. So since they are opposites, the answer is going to equal zero. Now we do not have a sign in front of it because zero is neither negative or positive. Okay, for this next one we need to find this sum and there's two ways to do it. So the first way is just to do the problem from left to right. So we'll write it out first. So going from left to right, I'm going to do negative 3 minus 2 plus a mi negative 2 is equal to negative 5. Then I rewrite the equation, dropping down everything we haven't used. Now I'll do negative 5 plus a positive 7, which, which will equal 2 plus a negative 4. And finally, I'm going to do 2 plus negative 4 which is equal to negative 2, since that negative is bigger than the positive. Okay. The second way you can do it is you can group like terms together. So I'm just going to use the commutative and associative properties to rearrange these numbers so that I have all of my negative numbers grouped together and all of the positive numbers grouped together. So I'm going to change it so it's negative 3 plus a negative 2, plus a negative 4, plus a positive 7. Now I can group all my like terms. So I'm going to group these negatives first. Negative 3 plus negative 2 plus negative 4 is equal to negative 9. And then I have plus a positive 7. So negative 9 plus a positive 7 is equal to negative 2. Okay, in these questions we have fractions, and decimals. So for A, I'm going to, since it's a negative and a negative that I'm adding together, I can go ahead and add these two numbers together and then change my answer to a negative number at the end. So I have neg 2 and 1 half and 3 and 1 third, so I need to change those so the denominator is the same, which will be 6. So it's going to be 2 and 3, 6, and 3 and 2, 6. Okay, add them together, add up with 5, 6, 5 and 5, 6. Now since both of these numbers were negative, then my answer has to be negative, negative 5 and 5, 6. Okay, with the next problem, I have a decimal point, and I have positive 4.3, plus a negative 7.24. Since the signs are different, we're going to find the difference of these two numbers and keep the sign negative since negative 7.24 is bigger than the positive 4.3. Okay, so I'm going to subtract them. I have 7.24 minus 4.3. Okay, 4 
This one comes straight down. I'm going to borrow from the 7. 12 minus 3 is 9. 6 minus 4 is 2. And again, since the 7 negative 7.24 is bigger, my answer is going to be negative 2.94. Yeah, on this one, we have one stock trade, Mr. Figura lost $450. On a second trade, he gained $800. What was the net result of the two trades? When dealing with money, if we have a loss, we represent that as a negative number. So he lost $450. So that's going to be a negative $450. But then he gained $800. So we're going to add a positive $800. So when I add these, what I will do is I'll do 800 minus the 450, and I end up with $350. Now the, the sign is going to be positive because the positive 800 is bigger than the negative 450. So he gained $350 over the two trades. And that's it for this lesson.